Have you ever noticed how when you're accountable to somebody else, it's so much easier to achieve goals or hit targets? So say for example at work, right? Say your boss gives you a, a, a deadline. We kind of make that happen no matter what it takes. You know, very rarely miss a deadline if the boss gives it to you. But yet we don't put that same kind of you know, focus and attention into our own goals and our own vision and our own lives. And let's be honest, aren't our goals and our targets more important than our boss's goals and targets? So why would we not put the same kind of focus on our own stuff? And I've got a bit of a theory actually about why this is, because it's something that always really fascinates me that you know, we can literally spend um, months just procrastinating on something like, oh, you know, at some point I'll get around to doing that new workout regime or at some point I'll get around to starting that business or starting that side hustle. You know, I will do it at some point. And then months and months later, we're still in exactly the same place. We've done nothing. We haven't moved forwards at all. So it's very interesting for me. And I, I have a bit of a theory, actually, about why this is, because... As, as human beings, we're social creatures, right? And we, we're driven by um, certain programming that we have, uh, that we have evolved to have over time to make us um, perform and, and act certain ways in social situations. Now, when you're accountable to only yourself, right? You've only got yourself on the line um, to, to achieve your goals. If you were to fail and not follow through, you know yourself, you already know exactly how you're going to react and respond to that, right? So there's, there's utter certainty. There's only you on the line. You know exactly how you're going to take it. If you were to give up, you know exactly what story you'd, you know, you'd already create around the situation. Um, so there's utter certainty and you can make a risk assessment to yourself subconsciously about whether you're willing to accept the ramifications of failure. And more often than not, we decide actually we're, we, we know that we would accept failure. We know that we'll tolerate it. Um, and therefore, when things get challenging um, or difficult, we're much more likely to quit and give up. Now, compare that to when you have somebody else who's holding you accountable. You don't know exactly how they're going to take it. How are they going to respond if you were to fail, if you weren't follow, going to follow through? You know, how would they see you? would they start to question your integrity? Would they start to question whether you're a person of your word? You know, would their opinion of you start to go down if you consistently just don't do what you say you're gonna do? Now, as human beings, we're, we're social creatures and we're driven by certain needs. Tony Robbins talks about the six human needs, which are certainty, uncertainty, significance, love and connection, growth and contribution. Now, when it's only yourself on the line and it's only yourself that you're accountable to, significance isn't really into question because nobody's nobody else is seeing it. It's just you. Um, connection, love and connection, apart from loving yourself, but ultimately there's not really you know any love and connection that's going to um, come under scrutiny. It's just yourself that you're, that you're dealing with. Um, you have utter certainty about how you're going to respond, so there's no uncertainty there really. If you fail, you know, if you fail, you know how you're going to respond. Um, no risk. Uh, also, growth and contribution. So growth and contribution are exterior needs. We do have those needs, except when you're setting a goal and you don't follow through, we often detach ourselves from the actual meaning, the actual long-term implications of what that means for our growth and for our contribution if we want to leave a legacy, if we want to give back charity, that kind of stuff. We have a detachment to the fulfillment that, that comes with those last two human needs. So the point of this is that if you're only accountable to yourself, all of those needs, we're not really, you know, there's nothing about those, those human needs that, that we really are um, risking or, or not fulfilling in our subconscious programming. Now, to give you an example, uh, on the flip side, if you are accountable to somebody else, you put yourself out there, you've publicly acknowledged your, your, you publicly acknowledge your goals, um, and somebody else is holding you accountable to achieving those. If you were to fail, right, you don't have total certainty about how they're going to 
uh, take that? How are they going to react? How are they going to respond? There's a little bit of a, you know, uncertainty there, a bit, of, a bit of a risk. They might judge me, which also brings into question uh, number three, which is significance. So if people start to, you know, devalue um, who you are because you're not a person of integrity or you don't follow through on your word and their opinion, opinion of you starts to go down, well, that's going to start to hurt your human need for significance. It's also going to start to hurt your human need for love and connection. As a social creature with other human beings, we want to be perceived in a certain way in our tribe. So we're very conscious about you know, how we're projecting ourselves out and how people are responding to that projection of ourselves. So as soon as you're accountable to somebody else, you're bringing you know, at least three human needs directly into the, the firing line if you were to fail. And so this, this means we can leverage this and create a huge, huge weight on the scales in the balance of us actually doing what we say we're gonna do to achieve our goals, right? We're stacking the odds and stacking the consequences of failure much, much higher than if we're only accountable to ourselves. So what that ultimately means when you boil all of this down what that means is if you are accountable to someone else, you will work 10 times harder to achieve your goals than you would if it's just yourself. Because there's so much more perceived risk. Our subconscious mind, our programming is going to go into overdrive to make sure that we hit that deadline, just like if our boss has set a deadline. Same thing. So we can leverage that. We can use that to actually make sure that we follow through and do what we say that we're going to do. And so the way that I see this is a lot of people, you know, when we talk through this concept, they're like, oh, I don't, I don't really want to make myself accountable. I don't really want to publicly put my goals out there because if I'm accountable or I put myself out there and then I fail, it's going to be embarrassing. It's going to be humiliating. Yeah, I don't really want that. I'm not willing to put myself out there. Well, if that's the case, then you're willing to fail because you don't want to risk being embarrassed more than you want to achieve your goals. So if you're telling yourself you want to start an online business because you want to be there to see your kids growing up, for example, you know, it's a big reason many people start, that's your goal, but you don't want to make yourself accountable to doing the things every week or every day that are going to move you closer to that because you don't want to be embarrassed. Well, hate to break it to you, but what that's really saying is that it's more important to me to not be embarrassed than it is for me to be there for my kids. That's what the truth of the situation is. And that might sting, and if it stings, own that, own that, and realize that's what, that's what we're, at, we're actually creating within our own minds. That's what we're causing to happen. So we've got to decide how important is it really for me to achieve my goal? And if it is seriously important, make yourself accountable. Make yourself put something on the line to make sure you actually do what it takes to achieve that goal. Leverage your biological programming. Leverage the fact that we want approval of other human beings. We want to fit in with the people around us. Leverage that. Use that. Use your own biological programming to help you achieve your goals. And be willing to put yourself out there and be willing to accept the consequences of failure if it means you have a much higher chance of success. Accountability is key. So if you don't have an accountability buddy, if you don't have an accountability group, now might be a really good time to go ahead and get one.